everyone. Today, let's talk about the basics of ARDS, or Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. This can happen due to a wide range of things. Trauma, you can have an infection, you can have pancreatitis, and ultimately what that means is that underlying trigger causes the capillaries in your lungs to become super leaky, and that leads to some level of pulmonary edema that is not due to heart failure. That pulmonary edema now makes it very hard for you to oxygenate, so you're gonna be hypoxic. Your SpO2 is gonna be low, and that leads to your inability to breathe well. A normal person's arterial pressure of oxygen is between 80 to 100 on normal room air, which is 21% oxygen. But oftentimes these patients, despite being on 100% of oxygen, will have a PaO2 of around 60. That's often known as the PaO2 over FiO2 ratio. In ARDS, this ratio is often below 300, but just know that in a normal person, you usually have a ratio above 500. You have a PaO2 of 80 and an FiO2 of around 20%, so that's around 400 already. These patients often need to be intubated, and when they do get intubated, just remember there's two things that really help. You wanna have a very high PEEP to open up your alveoli, and ultimately, the second thing you also want are low tidal volumes. Higher tidal volumes have been shown to cause barotrauma and actually lead to worse outcomes. So remember, six to eight cc's per kilogram of tidal volumes when someone is intubated and high peak can be very helpful for patients with ARDS. I hope this was helpful. Follow up for more. Peace.